Yes, I'm back. Sorry about this, guys. Is everyone everyone can hear me? Hello. Hey, Telly, are you yes. okay? Yes, I'm. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Do you know how to share a screen? Uh, I haven't done it before. Let me see. Uh, share my screen. Yep. Share. Perfect. All right. Excellent. You're working. Okay. All right. I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Good stuff. Um, is everyone can hear me? I think I've got it right. Yes. Yes, we can see the screen. Yeah, your screen. Uh, yeah. Perfect. 2019. Okay, uh, I have to talk about the Cyprus projects and Greek projects. In particular, we've got two options. We've got a golden visa for Greece and golden visa for Cyprus. I'm not going to go about too much about Greece or Cyprus, but apparently there are two fantastic locations for investment, climate, wise and a lot of other things that you can everyone search online and see what's going on there in particular in greece we've got uh, the limit for the golden visa it's 250 000 euro per person um they they expect it to an increase to happen but we don't know anything yet hasn't been announced anything yet there is a lot of properties in western side of Greece that I am um, sort of uh, control with a colleague of mine over there. A lot of factories, warehouses uh, close to the port because we've got a big port in Patras connected directly with Italy. A lot of uh, apartments, units and houses. Um, on the other side, we've got Cyprus. It's a very, very uh, exciting um, destination. Let me tell you something. Hold on a second. I have to find the, the right folder. Very exciting location. As I said, once again, for the climate, a lot of tax uh, benefits and which attracted a lot of uh, investors from Russia, all over Europe, America, and Southeast Asia. We've got more than 25 projects um, of the plan and everyone has different arrangements, which is depends on the project. Basically, some of the projects, they turn up to 8% per annum. And the actual annual growth is from 10 to 12% for each project. For instance, someone bought a property last year for 150,000 uh, euro. 100, sorry, 195,000 euro. And as we speak today, the same property it's worth 250 to 230,000 euro within 12 months. Um, I can show you some projects right here. You can see yourself. Um, just give me a second, please. Just from one developer, I don't know if everyone can see this. Did everyone can hear me? Yes, yeah. please yeah, continue. Yeah. yeah, we can see the yeah. your sharing screen. Yeah, beautiful yeah. island, the beach. Yeah, yeah. This part of the island, from here up there, all the other way down up to here. It has been conquered by Turks in 1974. Obviously, the land is very cheap for them. And now there's big developments happening. Um, all these developments are just the waterfront, all of them. You can't see anything inland. And you will understand a bit further 
there and I'll show you some maps. And it, 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 I mean, I can talk for days about this destination. Everyone can say, it, as I said, this is one of the projects of this developer. Uh, see the beach, for instance, see the apartments. And we've got videos about all of those se separate. And as you can see, there's a close proximity to the water. Fantastic coastlines with no sharks or <laughs> dangers, as we, um, as we know here in Australia. Um, See every single house here, they've got their own pool and looking overlooking the water. Upon your request, ladies and gentlemen, I can forward you each individual uh, presentation or PDF so you can search and read yourselves at your own time because it's impossible here. We can't go through everything, but I'll show you briefly a few as you can see here one image it's worth a thousand words different developments happening is some floor plans <clears throat> basically you buy a piece of um, property in mediterranean and you have all the benefits of the weather, the environment, the stability, and the actual finance uh, benefits at the end of the day, because Cyprus at the moment is 30% cheaper than anything else. I'll show you another presentation. We've got too many projects. We've got this in Russian, because there is a lot of Russians there. A lot of buyers from Russia. This is separate in Russian. And we've got this in English. Um, once again, the island, all this course, I have to repeat, it's been bombarded by new developments. We've got um, along from this developer, eight projects along from this developer. And we are in contact with another three And I'm talking about high quality buildings and with all the facilities, internet, sauna, spas, restaurants, um, special facilities for children. Now, the payment plans in most of them, as you can see here, is a thousand um, Britain pounds with deposit, 30% down payment within two and a half, five years. And so forth. They've got different arrangements. Depends what which one you choose. Basically, you can see here, sixty months interest free. Obviously, you got to have thirty percent down payment. There is a lot of information to digest. There is no there is no point for me to go into detail because I'm gonna confuse everyone. Just give you an overview to see what's going on there. There is a great opportunity for us as uh, agents and for buyers They, in case they want to acquire a golden visa for this destination. Have a look at this picture. You know, uh, I can't say much, you know, Amy says everything. And all these projects are going very well. They have no issues with material cost or material uh, restrictions that we face here. All this they uh, done by Turkish and Israeli developers. They amalgamate a very, very successful and most of them they're selling off the plan before they finish. Um, and at the end of the day, we've got the membership. Whatever buys from this developer, uh, there's a membership here which includes a lot of stuff. Have a look. It's quite exciting times, guys. I'm, I'm quite proud to present this. You can see, hold on a second. The 
there's only five projects on this, there is more. You can see all the facilities and what the actual membership includes. They've got 10% discount at all restaurants and bars, a lot of restaurants there, I forgot to mention. Spa treatments, uh, beauty and hair salon. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, it, it's amazing. I can I can talk for hours and hours, but as I said, there is no point to overwhelm you with information or flattering. Um, can you see this aspect of this development here? Everyone has their own pool in front of the water. <laughs> Um, now, I've got the recent price list of all of those, or February as as we speak today, um, which I can forward to everyone. Our commission here, guys, it has to be it has been negotiated to be five percent, okay. And we get paid with the first deposit the buyer put down, we get paid instantly. Um, a part of this developer, we've got another one here. Just to give you an idea and the quality of the projects. Just play with me. Here's the island, and this is the coastline that I'm talking about. It's very well protected, as you can see. This is the coastline of Turkey, and on the other side, we've got Israel and um, Lebanon, on this side. Here's the development. Luxury results here. I mean, imagine, imagine um, something like uh, uh, you've been in Dubai or in Versace, this type of development, but they're more upgraded with today's technology and all facilities. Because as you know, in Europe, they're a little bit in advance from where we are here, and everything except the scratch. Look at this. Now it's up to you guys if you whether you have any um, any connections for groups of people they are looking to invest overseas or looking for golden visas, which is a great opportunity Cyprus and in Greece in particular. I will give I will give an attention to to Cyprus because our commission obviously a bit higher and they're all brand new quality projects. Okay, for Greece. It's something different. Okay. Just have a snapshot here of the quality of the buildings to understand. Is everyone can follow me? Hear me well, or any problems there? Yeah, it's good. Too good. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, please uh, continue. Uh, could I ask a question or end of the your presentation? We can absolutely, ask absolutely. You can ask me any questions, and I can always. You can always email me <laughs> to discuss details and arrangements. Okay? Uh, yeah. So where is the you, you your company website? So we can follow up to to potential uh, customer or you get more information. So, so sorry, I missed that. Uh, could you tell us the your company's website, the URL? The web page, so we can. I, ha I haven't got anything. I haven't got anything because 
as you know, I'm associated with Oxbridge. There is no need for me to have any website. Oh. We are, yeah, we associated with these developers. And oh. I've, got a, I've got a representative on the spot over there. And there is no way for someone to buy over the phone or online because they have to be physically there or have a representative. Otherwise, we missed out on commissions and oh. everything can go wrong, I guarantee you. That's where we've got other people there and they get paid as well, all right? Um, all right, thank you. Yeah, it's all all very well structured with uh, solicitors, whatever they need to know. And it's all lined up very professional here. There is no dodgy business. There is no, there is no issue of uh, companies or developers li liquidation. Because there is a plan from um, Vladimir Putin, I would say, to make the destination with his population something bigger than Dubai. Okay, Dubai is very uh, unaffordable at the moment, and obviously the political system and the actual uh, culture or religion it's a little bit against to whatever we know here in Australia. Obviously, I can't discriminate, and but that's what I'm saying. A lot of people. They want a, a little bit of more freedom. I suppose someone, they are more conservative and they choose to be within Muslim uh, communities or religion, okay? Please don't take me wrong. I'm not trying to, to point out who is better, who is not. It's not, it's not my um, intention here. I'm just saying the difference. Um, there's a lot of information for everyone to digest. Okay, this is one of the other developments, small development, it's not small, but it's a, of a high quality. Now, I can show you another one, another developer. Uh, hold on a second. Yep. Evergreen. And we've got some projects as well, some uh, properties already built up at the moment. And um, people can buy, no second hand, they've been built up and uh, ready to go. Just a small video. No more than 200 meters from the water. Looks really great what you're doing there. I'm actually new to the industry. I'm considering going into real estate, but obviously, like, this is amazing what you've done. Um, just, yeah, curious to how it's all structured. Like, obviously, you're one of the main developers. Like, obviously, you'd have lots of other people and um, sectors involved, like the banks and the brokers. And how's it, how does it all work? Can you speak up a little bit, please? Because I can't hear you. You, I can hear you from distance. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Is that better? I, I can hear you, but it's still a bit weak. Can I hold you my phone? Hello. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. Is it a little better now? Yep. Yeah, so I'm new to the industry. I'm probably going to get into real estate, but I definitely am interested in what you're doing. It looks amazing. Um, just curious how it's all structured because basically you'd have lots of different people involved from brokers to developers to architects to everything. Like how does how is it all structured? Like who's at the top and how does it all funnel down to the builders and everything? Okay. Uh, I'm going to answer your question very simply because I would like to simplify things without uh, meaning that I'm trying to, to not disclose information. Basically, we've got the listing exclusive. All these listings, not, not exclusive. All these listings are open listings, but uh, we've got people on the ground in Cyprus and Greece, and they secure these uh, listings for us. And we share commission with them. I'm not sure how much they're getting. Possibly they are getting 8%, but I negotiate 5% for us. Um, 
if you got a broker, the broker here, I don't know what sort of role they can play. They they don't need finance over there. That's quite clear. Uh, they're just going ahead with the construction and obviously looking for sale. And we are here to sell the project, okay? That's really yeah. interesting. So you'd need a citizenship in Greece um, to be able to do that or? Sorry? Would you need like to be a citizen of Greece to do developments over there or do they welcome investors from any countries? They welcome investors from any place, my friend. Yeah. In Greece, there is no restrictions, no restrictions at all. This is in Cyprus. Let me be clear: Cyprus, it's a, it's, it's a different part of Greece, right? It's a, um, it's a different government, despite the fact that we speak the same language, the same religion, and so forth. We say values and history and culture. There is a lot of political issues in between. But this part of Cyprus that I demonstrated to you has been conquered by Turks 1974. And since then, all this land has been taken away from the people and it's now under the Turkish um, ownership. So obviously they've got this land obviously for free. And now they've, kind of, you know, they've got the opportunity to develop and capitalize on this beautiful land, all right? In Greece, it's different. We've got a different government. Uh, our commissions in Greece are very, very low because they are getting 2% from the seller. They are getting another 2% from the buyer, which is in total four. The people that have got there, they agreed to share this 4% with us, which is 2%. And whatever we sell, we can just sit down at the table. And as our... Um, CEO before mentioned, uh, it's better to have something better than nothing, okay? Now, uh, this is obviously in the situation in Greece, but what I'm talking about here, whatever I show you here comes all from Cyprus. Let's say if you've got someone and you want to invest, the minimum investment for golden visa, if they want golden visa, golden visa means You've got to stay there for seven, five, 75 years, I believe. And um, you're getting the citizenship, you're allowed to work. Um, sorry, this is the Russian um, version. You're allowed to work and so forth, okay? Now, they've got uh, projects. They start from, I think, 200 or 300,000 300, um, uh, euro or... British pounds. I'll make sure I put the list and I'll show you what it is. Um, yeah, simple. Uh, I, it, it's very straightforward. They they welcome buyers from all over the world, and there is a lot of attention. I'll tell you what right now, as I, as I mentioned earlier, from Russia, because Russians they've got a lot of money somehow through um, the system. Uh, there is a huge housing crisis in Europe. A lot of people from England, people from America and Germany, they invest directly there in Greece and in Cyprus. Uh, I've got some documents, brief documents about the political and economical situation in Cyprus, which everyone can follow up very, very easily. And it makes sense why it's so attractive a part of the beautiful lifestyle and the actual um, almost perfect uh, climate conditions, the Mediterranean, okay? Um, let me see. I've got something else very interesting to show you. It's, it, it is important to show this to start with, just briefly. Um, cost of living here, okay? Here's the map that I was talking about. Okay. Here's the map. All this coast, the green line that you can see, it's the land that's been conquered by Turks in 1974. All right. And all these little flags 
indicate different products that we have across the cost as well. And we've got some more on the other side. All this cost line has been bombarded by development very aggressively. And I'm talking about gorgeous projects. Um, and we've got a mix of units, apartments, villas, houses, independent houses, terraces, in different sizes and um, different budgets as well. And you see, the beach is 200 meters from the houses. It's just walking distance. Now, it's just a matter of who is going to jump quick on this because they are selling very, very quick. There is a lot of interest from all over the world. This is the first contact that we have here in, uh, in Australia. And at the moment, we are in contact with the uh, major... Um, my uh, lawyer in India, because they've got a huge group of Indian people. They're looking to invest and get golden visas out of India. At the moment, they invest in uh, Dubai, which is quite expensive and slightly against the cultural um, elements and religion. So therefore, Cyprus, it's uh, one of the most favorite destinations at the moment for them. And as you know, Indian population, it, it's, it's vast, all right? We are talking about huge numbers. Uh, we established another contact in China and we are looking for investors in China as well. And by all means, guys, if you've got investors, um, I'll be very transparent with you from the start. Our commission is 5%, whatever the, the um, cost of the project is, and we get paid initially with the first deposit. There is no questions asked there, no marking around. And from that 5% that we get, we have to obviously support our office, which is the fundamental uh, uh, element of our structure. We have to give whatever we have to give there. And the rest, you can tell me what you're happy with. And I'm not greedy. I would like to make everyone happy and keep always a little bit of meat on the bone for everyone in order to work. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Um, uh, in saying that, if we've got a buyer and he wants to travel there, we've got our agents um, and these developers, they provide three days free to stay at the hotel and they take him around the project for free. So you can see a little bit of um, they invest the time and some money to, to make not all, all happen, but uh, to show the capacity and the commitment towards the buyers, right? As you can see, we've got two, bed two bedroom garden apartments, penthouses. Depends, depends the budget, guys. There is so much to digest. There is so much. I can't just, uh, I don't want to use the word impossible. It's a word that I hate, but um, technically it's a little bit challenging to go through in a short meeting so this. Uh, I want to briefly show you just um, one developer's uh, a catalog. I've got the catalog here. Um, OK, here you go. That's a one. That's from one developer. As you can see on the cost, can you see everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, five, uh, eight projects. And I think it's got another two. 
and this is just one developer. And we've got another three developers and they've got projects all over across the line, all right? Um, just some of them. This is the Caesar result. It's all done. And we've got some properties already available. The Caesar result, we've got different phases as you can see. We're talking about huge projects. I mean, Dubai has nothing to show in comparison to this, and I'm very proud to tell you that, guys, in order not only to build up your confidence, but uh, the actual products talk itself, you know? There's no room for me to, to, to make marketing puffing here or talk over my head. Huge facilities for children, you know? Huge facilities here in every project. Um, this the Caesar Blue, another part of it. As you can see, can you see the proximity to the water? And I'm talking about quality water, very clean water. Look, the Aqua Club and the kids, we're talking about Disneyland within every little, um, uh, how we call it, um, yeah, whatever we've got on the Gold Coast, sorry, my brain's getting full. Um, There's another project close by from the same developer, Line Village. Uh, this is the Palm Jumeria. Um, this complex has been designed, as you can see on the ground, uh, around the palm trees, the shape of a palm. And they've got in ground pools all over and around the buildings, all over the place. You can see, as you can see here. No one has seen something like it before. Took us a bit of time to negotiate all these things. Uh, apparently, my connection over there is very strong with a very good friend of mine from the same town, from Patras in Greece, which is the closest port to Italy. And as I said, we've got some beautiful projects there as well, commercial and Residential. Um, this is another project from the same developer on the same location. See the beats, as you can see. They're not huge, every individual one, they're small, gorgeous, and manageable projects. Is the village look she's a bike and so forth. Um I do encourage everyone whatever can hear me here to communicate by email so I can send you some uh, beautiful presentations that I've got by email so you can study your own time and digest everything and any questions that you might have, I'm here always happy to assist you. Now, I want to show you this uh, marketing materials here. It's the immediate marketing materials. Yeah. And I've got some brief information about the green, uh, the golden visa in Cyprus which is quite attractive for a lot of people, okay? Just, this is from another developer. Very active in the area with some amazing projects as well. Obviously, 
the actual allocated commission, it doesn't sound very, very lucrative, but it's something better than nothing. And I've been very transparent. Our CEO, Paul, uh, Dr. Paul knows exactly what, what it is, and I'm just being transparent with you, okay? Let's say if you sell a project, one of those, you will tell me how much you'll be happy with. And I'm always willing to facilitate the deal. I'm not here to break a deal, okay? And bear in mind, all these projects, they are quite affordable, very affordable. Or average, let's say, if they want 300,000 um, euro, oh, I think, sorry, 300,000 euro or with discount, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I will clarify that in writing anyway. It's basically around uh, 500,000 Australian dollars. You can get a visa and change people's life. It's all about life changing pattern here, not just the actual uh, real estate, the real estate combined with the actual life changing um, conditions, which is very hard to find with other projects, you know. There is a place that you never get bored. There is a lot of um, um, cultural and um, history there. And the actual lifestyle is amazing, guys. From the food, the way people living and working there, it's, it's, it's just something different altogether. Um, another one. There's so many to show you, eh? so much stuff. I don't want to just, um... oh, this is in Arabic. Um... I don't speak Arabic, I'd love to, but <laughs> this is the second, uh, same developer I was talking to you before. Look at it. They, they are selling this instance individual house bills close to the water. And the construction there, it's completely different from what we know here in Australia. There is no timber frame, everything is brick and concrete, internally and externally. It's been designed in this way for the different uh, geological conditions because there is. In the past, there were earthquakes and stuff, and Europeans, in particular in this region, region, they would like solid uh, construction, you know. Obviously, whatever I'm telling you, it's uh, what I take from uh, the background um, supporting group that I'm working with and information that we got from the internet. However, I encourage you to just do your own due diligence, I would say, and verify what I just said to you about Cyprus. And um, in particular, this project, you can discuss everything you need with me directly. And I directly connected with them in Greece and Cyprus. Okay, now we've got Dems, Evergreen Projects, um, I've got a few more here. The here we've seen the here old project. Okay, any questions, please tell me if you got any questions. 
Is everybody there? Hello? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, could I ask you email and contact detail? Absolutely, absolutely. Here's my email. Telly at oxbridge.com.au. Oh, Telly. Okay. Thank telly, you, yeah. Telly. Yeah. And uh, uh, the other thing is uh, I'm not familiar with uh, Greece. Uh, so could I ask more information about the culture and the language? And uh, you speak very good English. Uh, so most of Greece, uh, I suppose, they speak the local uh, Greece language, right? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Here is the, yeah, a little bit of trouble because the most people in Australia, even I think about uh, my background is the Chinese. I think about, yeah, they 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 on most uh, they only understand the uh, English, so it's a language a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I have a good couple of friends actually. I visit Greece because I'm going there every two years. Uh, I've lost my father and mother recently, and surprisingly enough, I met a Chinese gentleman. He was selling some stuff uh, to his shop, and he was speaking fluently Greek. And I was thought, oh, <laughs> oh, I was stunned. They said, well, how that happened? How that happened? I mean, people, yeah, they speak Greek, but a lot of them, they speak English too. And I'll tell you something. There is a lot of Chinese companies at the moment because they've got the power and they've got the astuteness, I would say, the smart people to see the potential of investment there. Greece, sooner or later, it will become Western Hong Kong. You won't be able to get one square meter at an astronomical prices. Now, right now, as we speak, there's a huge opportunity. As I said, commercial buildings, factories, hotels, uh, warehouses, even bigger ports, they've been purchased by Chinese um, companies. In particular, the west side, southwest side of Greece, which is close to Italy. And this is the part that I've got a lot of uh, connection there. This is my connection uh, controls all the area. Uh, as opposed to Athens, it's saturated, it's very expensive, and it, it doesn't doesn't mean anything, you know, to me, honestly, even if I'm Greek. But um, there are opportunities there, a lot of opportunities, very very low prices, you know. I can't I can't express this more loud. Ridiculous prices, you know. And I'm talking about solid solid structures, not a house that you have to squirm and live in agony if my house is going to be eaten by termites, all right? Yeah. So uh, your location is the, uh, uh, which part of uh, Australia actually, Knox? Uh, I'm in Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see. So yeah. you'll, get, you'll get some uh, mainly connection with the, yeah, Greeks. So yeah, Greece, Greece and Cyprus at the moment. I'm working here in Brisbane uh, with Oxbridge. We've got some commercial properties at the moment, some development sites. Yes, I'm oh. very active within the company. And um, yeah, um, okay. as I said previously, I established a connection with uh, two, uh, say, very important groups. One in India. Oh, it's a big, big lawyer. And he's dealing with people seeking uh, golden visas, which is ideal for them. And another part of um, investors from China. Oh. Yep. So, so we yeah. are open, open for everyone in trade with him. <laughs> okay, good. So sounds like you also uh, have some project in Brisbane. Is the right man standing? Sorry? So you also do the business, the uh, sell some project in 
Bruce Banner, right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. At the moment, at the moment, let let me say, where are you based? Ah, uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Okay. Put it this way: we've got some very interesting investment projects here. Right? We've got, a, for instance, twenty thousand square meters in a very good area, which is developable for townhouses. Twenty thousand square meters. There are four big properties. And with existing houses, and it's going for sale for eight million one hundred thousand dollars. Oh. One of them, all right. We've got another one, Mount Glorious, four hundred forty hectares, huge block of land, oh. which is uh, possibly going to be attracted by a BMX during um, Olympic Games. Oh yeah, sure. Possibly sure. lease part of the land for the trucks and one third of this site it's developable all right one oh. third i'm talking about 440 hectares hectares oh. no oh. no acres hectares <laughs> and it's done for 16 million dollars oh huge <laughs> yeah we've got some other small projects and so forth so um it's a pleasure meeting you here and yeah. um just uh, be in touch and see whether we can exchange or we'll work with. Yeah, 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 sure. I, I'm actually so I'm a, a mortgage broker, but I have some connection with the, yeah, I, yeah as I mentioned, I have Asian yeah. Chinese background. And, uh, Absolutely. So if you have the Chinese background uh, client, they cannot speak English, so yeah, you, you can in, in, Introduce to me, I can hear. <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. Yeah. Listen, I don't know if you know anything about Greeks, you know, but Greeks, we um, we are very close um, type community structure, all right? And it's very, yeah. very, very similar to your uh, family values and structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand hand, that. Yeah, the Italian, Greece, yeah, and uh, I like kebab as well. Yeah, my favorite food. <laughs> yeah, and on the other hand, Greeks, they are not um, discriminate other cultures or people. They're yeah. very, very kind and understanding, and they yeah. blend with everyone, okay? Yeah. yeah. They're very, very important. They are, all, they are not racist. Yeah, I like uh, Greece culture as well. So <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the white, uh, the the horse is very impressive. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. Um, if you're a broker, I do believe you can open a lot of doors, and I can guarantee you, you'll be always looked after in the proper way. I will never, ever, ever leave you feel disappointed, or yeah. be on the side. We have to all equally. Um, compensate it and yeah. be happy because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not just one transaction. It's We're talking about future because um, put it this way, my friend, I do believe a human body can live up to 120 years, so I've got a plan to, to live another 60, 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> true, 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 true. And uh, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's uh, Italian, Greece, they are very famous, the Mediterranean, yeah. um, yeah, delicious food is very healthy, olive yeah. oil is very famous. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that sounds good. Yeah, and currently I'm also studying the real estate, uh, so a agent, so I, as the Paul also, also mentioned, if I have the both, the uh, Mortgage broker and the real estate agent. I have both lessons. That'll be good. <laughs> so excellent. We can communicate. If you got any investors or people that are looking for housing and packages or developers or anything, you get in contact with us here. Yeah. And we've got some very exciting projects, not only ourselves, but within our Oxbridge group. Yeah. Because I've got some other um, uh, colleagues and affiliates within the group, and um, always we can be useful to everybody, from finance, construction, golden visas, everything as you know. Yeah, yeah. I, actually, the as I know, a lot of Chinese, the, they like the 
yeah, the 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 uh, the, the golden visa, the European the yeah the visa, uh, yeah separate. Get in touch with me. I can send you. I've got just one gorgeous property at the moment as we speak in Greece, in a fantastic location on the water, my friend. Two hundred fifty thousand euro. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. A beautiful, beautiful project. A beautiful uh, house. Ridiculous price. Ridiculous price. You can't make a you you can you can you can't even build a, a garden set here in Australia. This you know <laughs> the way it had been constructed. I'm talking about concrete and bricks, solid structure. Yeah. Actually, my friend selling this property for two hundred fifty thousand euro. Oh, it's cool. Just yeah. just across the the water. <laughs> So is the uh if the uh, what's the uh money exchange from uh your your to the Australia dollar? I'm not sure two to one, right? I'm not quite sure every day it changes, but um with Greece we are working with Euro. Yeah. In Cyprus we can work with um American dollars, oh. Turkish pound, Greek uh, British pound. And, um, and euro you yeah. see you've got you've got the opportunity in cyprus to play with four different currencies i'm not going to go to the bitcoin and stuff like that yeah i don't want to touch this i don't want to mention anything of this let's say the conventional um, um way of buying things or currencies it's all there yeah okay yeah, thank you very much, uh, yeah, Tally. And uh, thank you very much for your excellent uh, presentation. <laughs> so My pleasure, my friend. And nice to meet you here. I will anticipate your email to yeah. exchange some information and um, yeah. give you some more insight to everything that you need to know. Yeah. And take it from there in case we can make a mutual uh, beneficial transaction somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay, thank you very much and uh, thank have you. a good weekend. Yeah, thank you again. I will send you an email. Yeah, so that'd be great. That'd okay, be great. okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Is that only you or anybody else listening? Yeah, uh, and uh, your lawyers, the only the audience, I think. <laughs> that's okay. That's yeah, okay. the everybody is left, it's busy, it's all right, and uh, yeah. At least you get my loyalty, yeah. friends. <laughs> That's absolutely right. You might be the quality one, and it doesn't really matter. It's <laughs> every, if everyone, uh, I don't know, it's up to Dr. Paul if he wants to organize another meeting yeah. with other interested parties to discuss this, but um, I found this quite exciting, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. There is yeah. nothing like it, <laughs> like this happened before. Okay, from okay to my knowledge, anyway. Yeah, anyway, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, thank you, my friend, have a, have a lovely day, enjoy your weekend. Eh? Okay, you too, you too. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Dr. Paul is still there. And I would say goodbye to everyone for now. And um, I hope we can rearrange this meeting for other people that are possibly missing this opportunity. Okay. There is a lot of things to digest and a lot of things to, to share with everyone. And please do not hesitate to contact me at any time. All right. Thank you all. And uh, bye for now.